Hi students, welcome to another session of my class. We are discussing novel The Great Gatsby by Francis Scott Key Fitzgerald. Let us discuss uh, about our character. First of all, we are going to uh, understand the important characters in this novel. Then we will discuss about the summary of this novel. Yes, let us familiar with our important characters. Important characters in this particular novel, Great Gatsby, The Great Gatsby. First one is Nick Carraway. The novel's narrator, Nick is a young man from Minnesota who after being educated at Yale and fighting in World War I goes to New York City to learn the bond business. So this is the novel's narrator. For one more question, it is important. Nick Carraway is the novel's narrator and he is a young man from Minnesota and after being educated at Yale and fighting in World War II first goes to New York City to learn what business to learn the bond business and he is an honest tolerant and always inclined to preserve judgment. This is the character sketch of Nick Carraway. Next to the character is Gay Gatsby. This is the title character and the protagonist of the novel. So protagonist and narrator is different. Novel's narrator is Nick Carraway and the protagonist of the novel is Gay Gatsby and also the title character of the novel. And Gatsby is a fabulously wealthy young man living in a gothic mansion in Westeg. Westeg is a place where uh, no more rich people lived. That we will discuss later. So he is a wealthy young man living in a gothic mansion that is a big uh, uh, mansion that is like a, a palace etc. So he is famous for the lavish parties he throws a very Saturday night that is he spent uh, extravagant uh, or he, he is leading that uh, luxurious life that extravagant life and uh, he is a true representative of that roaring 20s, that jazz age. He is famous for the lavish parties he throws every Sunday night, but no one knows. But no one, no people, no other characters in this novel, no one knows where he comes from, what he does, or how he made his fortune. There is no one knows about the whereabouts of this character. But he has immense wealth and he uh, uh, leads that extravagant life, etc. And also he is famous for the lavish parties he throws every Sunday night, uh, not Sunday, Saturday night. Next character is Daisy Buchanan. Daisy is Nick's cousin and the woman Gatsby loves. That is Daisy Buchanan. Then Tom Buchanan, Daisy's immensely wealthy husband, once a member of Nick's social club at Yale. That is Tom is the husband of Daisy. Next character is Jordan Baker, Daisy's friend, a woman with whom Nick becomes romantically involved during the course of the novel. Nick's friend, Daisy's friend, then a woman with whom Nick becomes romantically involved during the course of the novel. Then Myrtle Wilson, that is Tom's lover, that is his illegal relationship. Actually, Tom is the husband of Daisy, but uh, he has an affair with the Myrtle Wilson. So, so Tom's lover, whose lifeless husband, George, owns a rundown garage in the Valley of Ashes. Myrtle Wilson, uh, her husband's name is George Wilson. George Wilson, another character that is Myrtle's husband, the lifeless, exhausted owner of a rundown auto shop at the edge of the Valley of Ashes. And uh, here, this Tom and Myrtle, uh, they have an illegal uh, relationship. I think all of you understand the important characters and their relationships in this particular novel. Then, let us move on to our summary of the novel. Yes, our narrator, Nick Carraway, moves to the East Coast to work as a bond trader in Manhattan. He rents a small house in West Tech, a novo rich town in Long Island. In East Tech, the next town over where old money people live, 
Nick reconnects with his cousin Daisy Buchanan, her husband Tom, and meets their friend Jordan Baker. Yes, our narrator Nick Caraway. He moves to the East Coast to work as a bond trader, and there he rents a small house in West Egg. So, what is the difference between West Egg and East Egg? West Egg is a place where no more rich people uh, inhabit it. No more rich in the sense means newly rich people. And East Egg is the next town where old money people live. Old money people means elite class people. That means they already had enough money, wealth and all. Instead of money, they had uh, definite cultural traditions, uh, morality, uh, everything they have. This East Egg people because they belong to elite class. But West Egg people... That is, they considered as a novo rich people. Novo means newly rich. Newly rich, how they acquired uh, this much money and wealth, it is through illegal methods, crime, etc. So that is West Egg, that is the uh, characteristics of this West Egg people. That is the difference between West Egg and the East Egg. East Egg people, they, all, they, all, they belong to elite class. They have enough cultural background, traditions. Their ancestors itself were uh, high class people, etc. And this East Egg people, they did not accept this West Egg people. Because this West Egg people, they, they all have enough money and all. But they lack this cultural standard, tradition, morality, etc. Because... They acquired money through illegal methods. That is the difference between West Egg people and East Egg people. So this narrator, Nick Caraway, rents a small house in West Egg. That is a Nova Rich town in Long Island. Then in East Egg, the next town where old money people live, Nick reconnects with his cousin Daisy Buchanan, her husband Tom. Yes, he tried to uh, establish uh, or reconnect his relationship with his as cousin Daisy her husband Tom and meets their friend Jordan. Tom takes Nick to meet his mister, uh, mistress Myrtle Wilson. Yes, Tom, uh, he is the husband of uh, Daisy, but he has an affair with another woman named Myrtle Wilson. So Tom takes Nick to meet his mistress Myrtle Wilson and Myrtle is already married to George Wilson who runs a gas station in a gross and dirty neighborhood in Queens. Tom, Nick and Myrtle go to Manhattan where she hosts a small party that ends with Tom punching her in the face. Yes, these three people, Tom, Nick and Myrtle, they go to Manhattan and where this uh, Myrtle Wilson, she hosts a small party that ends with Tom punching her in the face. Nick meets his next door neighbor, Gay Gatsby, a very rich man who lives in a giant mansion and throws widely extravagant parties every weekend and who is a mysterious person no one knows much about is. Yes. So then after that, Nick meets his neighbor, next door neighbor or protagonist, Gay Gatsby. This Gay Gatsby is a very rich man who lives in a giant big mansion, gothic-like mansion and throws widely extravagant parties every Saturday night, every weekend, because he leads, an, uh, he leads a luxurious life. He spends too much money for his um, luxury. Such type of life he led. led. And, who is, and moreover, who, he is a mysterious person because no one knows about the whereabouts of this character, Gay Gatsby. And Gatsby takes Nick to lunch and introduces him to his business partner, a gangster named Mayor Wolfsheen. And after that, this Gatsby takes Nick to lunch and introduces him to his business partner named Mayor Wolfsheen. Then Nick starts a relationship with Jordan through her. Nick finds out that Gatsby and Daisy were in love five years ago. Yes. Then Nick starts a relationship with a friend of that um, Tom and Daisy. That is uh, Jordan. Through Jordan, Nick finds out that this Gatsby and Daisy were in love five years ago. And that Gatsby would like to see her again. Yes. 
at present daisy is the wife of a uh, tom but daisy had an affair with the gay gatsby that five years ago and at present gatsby would like to see her once again and nick arranges for daisy to come over to his house so that gatsby can accidentally drop by daisy and gatsby start having an affair and nick arranges a meeting accidentally that is arranges for daisy to come to his house and so that gatsby can accidentally see this girl uh, this uh, not girl this lady that is daisy and at last daisy and gatsby start having an affair once again tom and daisy come to one of gatsby's parties daisy is disgusted by the ostentatiously vulgar display of wealth and tom immediately sees that gatsby's money most likely comes from crime actually this gatsby he is trying to conduct all these extravagant parties for what to impress daisy she is from elite class she is from east tech so this uh, gatsby he is actually from a poor family and he acquired this much wealth through illegal methods and other uh, the crime activities etc so he is uh, conducted uh, extravagant parties lunch and everything uh, every weekend to impress this lady daisy and daisy is disgusted she is irritated by the ostentatiously vulgar display of wealth and tom immediately that is the husband of daisy tom immediately sees that daisy uh, gatsby's money most likely comes from crime at last tom identifies that yes his money he acquired this much money through uh, crime and other illegal activities we learned that gatsby was born in a poor farming family as uh, james gats he has always been extremely ambitious creating the gay gatsby persona as a way of transforming himself into a successful self-made man the ideal of the american dream yes this is the true representative the character this character is a true representative of that concept the ideal of the american dream actually we learned that this gatsby was born into a poor farming family and as his original name that is james gats then he has always been he has always been extremely ambitious creating the gay gatsby then after that he is trying to create this new personality that is the gay gatsby persona as a way of transforming himself into a successful self-made man the true ideal of the american dream then nick gatsby daisy tom and jordan get together for lunch at this lunch daisy and gatsby are planning to tell tom that she is leaving him yes we know that once again this gatsby and daisy starts their uh, start their affair and at this lunch daisy and gatsby are planning to tell that she is leaving tom and that gatsby suddenly feels uncomfortable doing this in tom's house and daisy suggests going to manhattan instead yes and uh, gatsby suddenly feels uncomfortable uh, doing uh, this in tom's house because at this time the lunch is arranged in tom's house and so they decided daisy suggests going to manhattan Yes. In Manhattan, the five of them get a suit at the Plaza Hotel, where many secrets come out. Gatsby reveals that Daisy is in love with him. Tom in turn reveals that Gatsby is a bootlegger and is probably engaged in other criminal activities as well. Yes, and these five people, yes, uh, they went to Plaza Hotel in Manhattan. And there, yes, many secrets came out. That is, Gatsby reveals that Daisy is in love with the Gatsby, and his uh, her husband, that is Tom, at the same time reveals that Gatsby is a bootlegger. Bootlegger means uh, producing liquor illegally. illegal production of uh, liquor alcohol then the sale and uh, sale of this liquor etc 
so he acquired this much money through this illegal business that is producing this alcohol and liquor through uh, illegal methods so tom reveals that gatsby is a bootlegger and is probably engaged in other criminal activities as well gatsby demands that daisy renounce tom entirely gatsby demands that daisy renounce tom entirely and say that she has never loved him daisy can't bring herself to say this because it is not true yes gatsby insists demands that daisy uh, renounce tom entirely and say that she has never loved this tom it's, it is gatsby's view but daisy can bring herself to say this because it is not true because she loves tom and uh, crushing gatsby's dream and obsession that means daisy she keeps silent that means she can't tell that uh, uh, i do not love this tom or something like that uh, that crushed or that uh, uh, damaged gatsby's dream and obsession what is here gatsby's dream and obsession his obsession is towards daisy he loves this lady and he wants this lady and gatsby's dream is to achieve or to uh, get that lady he wants to marry that daisy that is his dream and obsession for getting this lady he is trying to uh, acquire uh, more and more money or wealth etc so it's clear that their relationship is over and that daisy has chosen to stay with tom yes daisy he is disgusted by the uh, attitude and appearance uh, attitude and the uh, expression of gay gatsby so it is clear that their relationship that is the relationship between gatsby and daisy that is over and that daisy has chosen to stay with the tom that evening daisy and gatsby drive home in his car with the daisy uh, behind the wheel when they drive by the wilson gas station myrtle runs out to the car because she thinks it's tom driving by daisy hits and kills her driving off without stopping at last is that evening daisy and gatsby drive home in his car and uh, uh, when they reach that uh, gas station of myrtle wilson myrtle runs out to the car because she thinks it's tom driving by tom is driving and uh, uh, daisy hits this myrtle wilson and kills her driving off without stopping nick jordan and tom investigate the accident who killed this lady metal wilson actually this metal wilson is the lover mistress of tom so they try to investigate the accident tom tells george wilson george wilson is the husband of metal wilson tom tells george wilson that the car that struck metal belongs to gatsby and the george decides that gatsby must also be metal's lover actually george misunderstands gatsby that yes the car and george decides that the gatsby must also be metal's lover that night gatsby decides to take the blame for the accident he is still waiting for daisy to change her mind and come back to him yes gatsby his dream and obsession is to get this lady daisy and he is still waiting for daisy to change her mind and come back to him actually it is daisy who hits this um metal wilson and killed this lady but george wilson believed that it was gatsby who killed his wife and he also thinks that there there may be an affair between metal wilson and uh, gay gatsby and um, this gay gatsby at present he is still waiting for daisy to change her mind and come back to him but she and tom keep down the next day nick breaks up with the jordan because she is completely unconcerned about myrtle's death then gatsby tells nick some more of his story yes then gatsby reveals some something about him to nick as an officer in the army he met and fell in love with the daisy 
but after a month had to ship out to fight in world war first two years later before he could get home she married tom gatsby has been obsessed with getting daisy back since he shipped out to fight five years earlier yes he has been obsessed with getting daisy the next day george wilson shoots and kills gatsby and then himself because he believed that it is gay gatsby who killed his wife and moreover he misunderstand that they had they this uh, his wife and the gay gatsby they have an affair okay. yes so the next day george wilson shoots and kills gay gatsby and then himself also that that means george wilson he himself shoot and committed suicide the police leave the butchernans and mittels affair out of the report on the murder suicide nick tries to find people to come to gatsby's funeral but everyone who pretended to be gatsby's friend and came to his parties now refuses to come yes because he acquired this much wealth and money through illegal methods and he belonged to this novo rich people that is vested so nick tries to find people to come to gatsby's funeral but everyone who pretended to be gatsby's friend and came to his parties now refuses to come to his funeral once they all came to his parties and enjoyed but at present they all refuses to come to his funeral they rejected him even gatsby's partner bulshin does not want to go to the funeral bulshin explains that he first gave gatsby a job after world war first and then they have been partners in many illegal activities together so gatsby's father comes to the funeral from minnesota he shows nick a self improvement plan that gatsby had written for himself as a boy that means he is an ambitious man this gay gatsby that's why yes he uh, tried hard to achieve more and more wealth and transformed himself into a new persona that is gay gatsby and uh, dissolution with his time on the east coast nick he was dissolution with his time on the east coast he decides to return to his home in the midwest and the novel ends this is the summary of the novel the gay gatsby the gay gatsby that is gatsby is the gay gatsby is the title character and the protagonist and the nick is the narrator of the novel and what is the story about that is it is the this gay gatsby is the ideal of american dream his dream and obsession is uh, to get daisy he loves this lady and she is from an allied class that is eastern and uh, she does not accept this man uh, gay gatsby but they had an affair 5 uh, years ago and uh, uh, gatsby's uh, way of life that is is a true representative of that roaring 20s that jazz age occurred that uh, more and more money through illegal methods and all i think all of you understand the summary and the important characters in the novel and uh, uh, some more points we have to discuss about this novel that we will do in the next class so there is a homework for you and the homework is uh, write a critical note on the novel um, the gay gats the great gatsby write a critical note write a critical uh, analysis write a critical analysis of the novel the summary of the novel uh, the great gatsby by fitzgerald write your homework and send back to me thank you have a nice day see you again